Imagine you're standing at the edge of the cliff and on the one side there's comfort, the familiar, and on the other, your wildest dreams. Fear is whispering in your ear and telling you to stay put. But what if I told you that there's a very powerful way to silence this fear and to take the leap. I'm Agnes, a B2B SaaS marketing strategist, six-figure entrepreneur, and global adventurer who lived in over seven different countries. If you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. When I first started interviewing founders and building up my presence on LinkedIn, I had so many fears. I kept thinking, I don't know how to do this. What will other people think of me? What if I fail? But fast forward, I interviewed over 50 successful entrepreneurs and built a six-figure income. So how did I turn that fear into an asset? Here are the top three mindset shifts that made all the difference. Focus on growth, not perfection. When I started, I was trapped by the need for everything to be perfect. There was a time where I was waiting to get better at editing, better at interviewing before putting out content. But waiting to be 100% ready is a trap that leads to inaction. If you're waiting for the perfect moment or the perfect plan, you might end up waiting a lifetime. Instead, focus on making progress and learning from each experience. Next, question the validity of your fear. Not all fears are based on reality. When fear takes over, pause and ask, is this fear rooted in facts or assumptions? Most fears are mental projections of worst case scenarios that rarely come true. By challenging these fears and replacing the assumptions with real data, you will see that they're less daunting than they may seem in the beginning. Let's say you have a fear of starting a new job. Your assumption might be, I won't be able to handle the workload. A fact check might be, I've managed demanding tasks before. It's about prioritizing and taking step by step. And I found an article on Harvard Business Review that states that it takes on average eight months for a new employee to reach full productivity. Checking articles and data might give you a very different perspective. Tim Ferriss also has a very powerful exercise that helped me, which is called fear setting. It can help you navigate the uncertainties of change. Instead of just focusing on the costs and risks of taking action, fear setting encourages you to also examine the cost of inaction. That means what happens if you stay where you are. Let's say you're thinking about quitting your job. Start by listing out all the worst case scenarios that can come from this decision that make you fearful. This could include financial instability, loss of identity, disappointment of family and friends. However, it's equally important to make a list of what you stand to lose if you don't make this change, like job satisfaction, passion for work, skill development, no regrets in the future. Ask yourself, what will this cost me in six months if I don't make a change? How about in 12 months? Ultimately, fear setting is not just about recognizing all the things that could go wrong. It's also about understanding that sometimes the greatest risk is not taking action at all. And the last one is stop thinking, start doing. Fear often feeds on inaction and the more you think about what could go wrong, the more it grows. Instead, focus on making small manageable steps, whether it's sending that email, making that call, launching that idea, just get started. Action is the antidote to fear, and each small step forward builds your confidence and diminishes the power of fear. An interesting case study is Jia Zhang's TED talk on what I learned from 100 days of rejection. Chia faced his fear of rejection head on by deliberately seeking out rejection. He discovered that rejection wasn't as terrifying as he thought, and he even managed to turn some of the no's into yeses by asking the right questions. This experiment transformed his relationship with fear and opened up new opportunities. As Mark Twain said, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did do. Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear, it's the determination to move forward despite it. So whatever you're putting off, do it anyway. Seize the dreams that lie beyond your fears 
challenge your doubts and step boldly into action. If you found these mindset hacks helpful or you would like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.